Right. But before we wouldn't have been able to do that with the, with the, the cable. We don't have to. We don't have to. Then you gotta worry about people tripping over the, the wire. John Green, Chuck Paris. Yeah. We don't. Also, we don't have to beg the Pro Tour anymore to put certain matches in certain spots. Who was it? Who was it at all? Southwest. I think it was Southwest. Somebody Chuck. did it like four times in one game. Was that John Green? Probably. So Chuck <laughs> Paris, after you won, Chuck Paris kicked the cable and unplugged it, and it froze the it froze the picture. Um, thankfully, after the match finished, opening frame for ball, good ball for the four seven, and dead in the nuts. Sparing the first for a while. I don't predict there's going to be many opens for this match. You wouldn't think. I mean, we would have also thought that. Statistically. We also would have thought the last game would have been back and forth. This and it was true. anything but that. That's very it true. Was, it was back and no fourth. Yeah. No. No, Dad got no love on that one. No. I mean, after all, it's just a game, right? Uh, it is. <laughs> Until the car ride home. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the Mac Kruger we know and love. Let's watch that one again because I still have never grown tired of watching this guy's first ball. I mean, just I had I think the three pin there got sent into orbit. Yeah, it's something about that the Matt Kruger's putting a spin on the ball and it just I think he, that, he doesn't even throw a super hard. He just he's got all that spin and he's so accurate. That that three pin, I believe, was uh, it landed upstairs in the Wingstop trash can. Uh, stepping up to second second ball, first one in the second frame. Doesn't carry the seven this time. Another great ball though. Very very seldom. Never mind the pocket, but very seldom that uh, in these head-to-head -head matches that Matt even misses the head pin. Um, you don't see him miss object pins very often. Yeah, no, you can definitely count that on one hand on all of the times that he's been built. Correct. As you'd expect, he's got the single. So 20 bucks to start. And early pressure on Walt. Yeah, I mean, I remember a time this was before you, you were even bowling adults way before that. Or maybe you'll eat before I was that even was alive. That was 116 average. Yeah. 15 years ago. And then I come back to bowling 12 years later. And was, I would say if you, had to, if you had to vote right now on the bowler of the 2020s, it would have to be Matt. Yeah. I don't, no see, it, no I don't see it being anyone else. No doubt. There you go. Uh, nice nine count for Walt. Good ball for the four pin. Yeah, Matt, Matt Kruger is definitely the bowler of this decade so far. So far, absolutely. But Walt is still a Hall of Famer, though, so he's going to give a run for his money. Walt's never out of the game, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, and again, Walt is not, at least anymore, he's not the, I'm going to rip the cover off the ball, throw it 8,000 miles an hour, and wedge pins in the ceiling. But... Walt still mixes pins, he makes his spares, and it's just, again, he's always around. He's like a Buddy Turner. He always is making cuts. He's always bowling well. Yeah, I mean, it's about the accuracy at that point. Right. That's all it is. And being able to steal eight off the side every now and again. I mean, he that always helps. the head pin there, but he, yeah. he doesn't miss very often. And even when he does like that, he leaves a break. Right. Uh, you will see some days, not every day, um, that some of these better bowlers will rip the middle a lot. Again, I think that's a product of being so accurate on the object pin. Yeah. Kind of bites him in the butt. And Walt off his object pin there, open frame. Yeah, that's a bad thing. When you're so accurate and you rip the middle, there's nothing you can do to fix it. Sure, it's, tough. it's, always, it's always a tough break. Um, and it's, it's a tough adjustment to make, too, because you know you threw it well. Um, and you're on the object pin, and you're just too much on the object. Right. So, 47 in the third for Walt Brooks, and Matt stepping up with 30 plus after two. Throwing his spare fill on lane 18. And the worst sound in duck pin, 1 5 only. And 
Un unexpected there, but a five pin lead for Walt Brooks. 37 32. That can definitely go with Matt's ball, though. Yeah, he sprays pins everywhere. Come on, what an attempt. I need a replay on that. That was almost the 1 5 missing. Slid clean, almost. Yeah, that, that was probably the cleanest I've ever seen those things. Um, that's an incredible effort for 10. I've made that shot before, but I've never slid it clean like that. That was incredible. 47-42. Down five. <laughs> Matt drawing his trusty set of half and half comics. You got two pink and black. You got the green and black up there as well. Yeah, those balls are really working this weekend for him. Although yeah. I don't think it's down to the balls. I think it's down to the bowler. Ah, uh, yeah. So when you catch a break like that, that's always nice. Seven pin falls out of the gutter. Pin rattling around off the rubber. Kicks it out. And a nice bounce back shot after that 1-5 rip. 52 plus through four. Yeah, he's still in the game. He's fighting back. He's only down five. Walt well, leaks it and catches a break. Leaves a tricky triangle. Four, seven, eight. Uh, on YouTube, Duck Pins Forever. Looks good. That is why they call it the tricky triangle. Four pin only open frame. Wood ball takes the seven four nine out. Fifty six in the fourth. Well, similar to four, pick, similar to picking count. a two pinner. Yes. Uh, tough. Tough that you know you threw it well. You're right on the object thing, uh, but you just can't bring it in. Triangle is even tougher because there are even more ways to miss the triangle than there are on a two pin. You can hit two oh, yeah. pins out of the triangle and miss. I've seen all these years I've been bowling. I've seen the tricky triangle missed probably about fifty different ways. Oh sure. Oh hello. Six pin tried to slide towards the four. Eventually, it fell down. Just a single for Walt. I mean, very rarely you'll see even someone take the back two. To yes. see someone take the seven eight and leave the four. To see a bunch of strange stuff. I mean I've watched it one time somebody hit the seven into the pit and it popped out. Hit sure. The, hits the eight. Well, dead on the four pin again, this time just a single, thankfully, so spare on the board, sixty six plus at the half. Chance for Matt Kruger though. As Walt just said, double up. Matt does have a chance to throw the double. Earlier with, with Mike Manns when he threw his 200 game. I got a feeling Matt's going to touch a second right here. He's just got that look in his eye. And he just, he's not going away. I'll put it this way. It wouldn't surprise me. Heavy. 2-6. Over on 23-24, the other semifinal. Colby has a 13-pin lead over Mark Klingelhoff for 59-46. And Colby 10-boxed in the fifth for 69. Nine count for Matt. Yep. 10 out. 71 for Matt. Up five, down a hit. I'm walking around. I see that we have over 100 viewers right now. Heck Thank, yeah. Thanks for everyone tuning in. Very well. I think during the quarterfinal we got to 103 when uh, Billy Thomas was on here. So Billy, Billy killed it for that game. He did great. Who knows he had that in him. I know uh, another good one too from the uh, Duckpin TV times that they were down here is uh, Billy Coons. Yes. Yes, I do remember it. Sixth frame for Matt. You betcha. There it is. Let's watch it again. And this is where 
these power players can really light it up is when they can carry this hit. That's in the pocket, but it's definitely heavy. And to be able to carry that hit um, to be a strike instead of a nine spare is just huge. Especially when you're balling Walt Brooks. Oh, for sure. When you're balling somebody of this caliber, it's just you have to, you have to get every single break you leave. Or, Spare fill for Walt, a solid eight off the deck, six ten. Get all the luck, as some people say. But. So after six, after five frames, halfway through, Walt had seventy four seventy one. Walt well, to make this to keep pace. Heavy again, open frame. So it's been a back and forth here of who has the lead. It looks like Matt will have the lead after six. Actually, the lead has flip-flopped uh, since the beginning of this game. It's gone back and forth. 83 to 81 plus. Four frames to go. He has flip flopped every every other frame except for the last two until Matt gets his count. Sure. Up, stepping up now on lane 17 for his seventh frame while waiting on that reset. Over on 23 24, Colby is up now 5 79 74 over Mark Klingelhofer. That's after six frames. Seventh frame for Walt. Off the side, how many? Watch out. Watch out. Four pin. Oh, we just missed, a single there. missed another single. He's missed three this game. Yeah. At least three. Eighty-nine in the seventh. Bermuda triangle is a good name for it too. Besides tricky triangle. Yeah, Walt nails the four pin again. Again, no triangle this time. Spare in the seventh. Ninety-three plus. Uh, Amanda, the other good term I've heard for it, I believe this was a Matt Kruger term, if I'm wrong, if I'm not wrong, uh, is the 50-50 shot. That is a 50% chance when you hit the object that you make it, 50% chance you miss it. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of names, but... Oh, sure. That probably... Matt Kruger for the double. Like that. You betcha. There it, there it is, oh, baby. my. I just called it two frames early, folks. That's all. Yeah, yeah I mean, you're in the ballpark. I know, I've seen it coming. Uh, folks, this is perfection. You want to know what perfection looks like in the duck pin game. That's it. Double for Kruger. Just wait for that ball to come back. I don't blame him. <laughs> you started you started that good. I'd wait for that to come back. I'd wait all day. For that, that ball, I would definitely wait. That, that comment has done so many great things for that. Right. And it's not even the ball. It, it's right. But like the ball gets to credit. And for all I know, maybe it could be the ball. Maybe I'd become 150 average if I, you know, throw that set. But Let's go I'd, borrow it. I'd hate to know what that would cost to get it off of his hands. Um, Any thousands of dollars he's won with those balls? Yeah. yeah. And rough count on the double. Only five, but a spare break. 20, 25 box. Puts him up 13. 96, 83 after 6. Sorry, 13. Up 13. 96, 83. Colby now up 6 against Mark. And Matt drills the 5 pinner. 126 plus in the 8th. Colby has just slammed 10 for a strike in the 8th frame. That will put him up 7 and a hit. Spare fill for Walt on 18 in the 8th frame. It's 2. Well, I'm starting to get frustrated. Honestly, I don't blame him. He's down 21 now. And he's going to be down a hit as well. Open frame. Oh, 
it's unfortunate. We can't quite see that on camera. John running down there for the Deadwood. Well, hits seven pin for his ten box. Score is one twenty three. Dad's gonna run down and clear it for him. Yeah, one twenty six plus to one oh five. Walt down 21 in a hit with two frames to go. This is. Congratulate you on making a cut. Yes, sir. Nice ball this weekend, sir. Thank you. And this is going to be must mark here for Walt. Got to make this to have any chance. One, two, four. Yeah, I, don't, I, didn't, I don't see the comeback once Matt threw that double, but you never know. You can never count Walt out until. Oh, sure. I'm just talking mathematically. He would have oh, yeah. had to have made this, and he did not know. Open frame. Definitely had to have that shot. So, once again, Matt Kruger is going to be bowling for a star on Duck Pins Forever. Uh, how many times does that happen now? What are we up to? I think this is like his sixth time now. Uh, I think I there was one he there was one he lost. Yeah. Right. So this is going to be I think his sixth time on Duck Pins Forever bowling for a star. Um, Someone believe do the that research is. on that. It's either five or six. Oh, John's saying he has five stars. One is not on his shirt. I thought he won four stars and had one before that. Well, Good. A, uh, the no, I think a I think there is a star missing from his shirt. Uh, okay. um, I hope someone uh, someone around here could probably clear me up on that. But yeah. If uh, Matt gets this pair here, mathematically the game is over. Pretty much it is over anyway. Um, he is actually missed the single. Yes. Uh -huh. Even though the game is in hand, he's, he, you can if tell he's not he, happy he about that. If he holds this stick, Walt throws a triple, and then Matt just has to keep it on the way. Right. I mean, the game is over. Matt has moved on. But either way, he does not like missing stuff like that. Uh, I can't see what Mark does. Mark has just Mark drilled nine off the deck. Threw, uh, threw a uh, solid nine. nine and a half. Yeah. Mark has 92 in the eighth. Colby has 107 in the eighth. And then 116 in the ninth. So Mark's not out of it yet. Good. Bye. Uh, a little insurance. Just a warm up pitch. It is a, just, a, just a casual warm up pitch for the final match. Look at this ball. Huh. Just incredible. So smooth. And once it hits them pins, they just blow up. And it's it's unique. It's a unique release too. I mean, you can watch the colors on the ball with the way they spin. It's very on the side of the ball, but uh, the way that he throws it, it just it, it makes his pins very well. Let's see if he does it again. Oh, heavy that time. He is going to be in the 160s though. Spare fill for Klingelhofer on 23. Uh, dropped how many? Nine or ten. I think nine. Ten. He dropped all ten. Wow, he struck. 164 for Matt Kruger. Yeah, we're just waiting to see who his opponent is at the moment. Ball off the side for the 3 9. And we have one more ball here for Walt. Been in a lot of championship matches. Oh, sure, yes. All right, your final score here 164 to 125. Matt Kruger going to bowl for either Pop Witten Star 5 or 6. It was at least a 5 pin, I think. Tell me what he left, Dave. Tell me what he finished with. Tell me what he finishes with. 